Hello and welcome back with me, Admiral, joining me back on Star Trek Fleet Command as always. So, quick update, if you are going to be joining me tonight for the Twitch stream, then please do head over to the link down below and follow over there on Twitch. Uh, we will be going through all the new content and we'll be chatting about it and see what your guys, you guys think uh, and whether it's good or bad sort of thing. And uh, we'll have a little sort of a play around with some of the new things as well. Other than that, let's crack on with this video. This video is going to be a little overview of what what has come new to the game. Uh, with regards to, obviously, because we're on now patch 21, is it? Yeah, patch 21. So the new content, we've obviously got the new arc, which is part 3 to the Outlaws campaign, which is obviously, as everyone knows already, is to do with MUD. We're also getting seven new officers, I believe. Obviously, they're all named here. I will show you them anyway, but I, they are all named, obviously, in this description. And they're all named, obviously, with what their, their powers are and stuff like that. And things like this we will cover in future videos once they get unlocked, once they sort of... A little bit more information comes out about what they can and can't do. Uh, we've got the new Outlaws Armadas again. And then a few other bits and bobs. I'm not going to bore everyone <coughs> by going through this. Uh, but yeah, there's a few bits and bobs. And then they've obviously got bug fixes at the bottom. Which we won't go into because that just frustrated me last time we read it. And they end up fixing stuff that you don't really care about. Uh, but going to the event this time. So last event was... 15 rounds I believe this time it is now 20 rounds so it is significantly bigger uh, than the last arc in terms of how many rounds we've got to go so it did stop at 15 last time now we've got all the way to 20 um, I don't know if 15 is the same no it's actually they're all different numbers as well points wise so we we go up to 315,000 this time whereas last time we went up to 200 and I think it was I believe it was about 240,000 once again, you can get the Battle Pass, which I will do a separate video again on the Battle Pass and see whether it's worth it or not. Uh, a quick, quick glance, it again, it does seem worth it, especially for the price of £18.50, which is what I spend. So obviously, you'd have to transfer that into your own currencies. But it's £18.50 for the smaller one and obviously £91 for the bigger one, uh, which again, I will show you in just a second. Uh, you've obviously got the new types of missions and stuff as well. Uh, so we got the different types of... The, it's very similar to the last arc. Uh, so we've got the different missions. As soon as you complete these, you get different, obviously, awards. These awards are the heist loot. Um, so that's what you're going to be looking for. And I'll come on to that in just a second. And then you've got, obviously, different types of leaderboards for all the different stuff again. First one for the today, because this video will be released on the day that this uh, arc came out, which is, obviously, Wednesday the 5th. Uh, so the first one we've got is uh, Faction Hunt. Hopefully that goes into tomorrow as well. Faction Hunt is a great start uh, because you start off with 21,000. Oh, no, they've changed it. Oh, no, they haven't. No, yeah, still 21. Cool. So, yeah, once you complete all three of these, you get 21,000 points. And if that's for two days, there's 42,000 points already in the bag. And it's a very, very good start. Uh, so, yeah, moving on. So if you go to the event store, which is obviously at the top here, this will give, break into essentially what they brought out for the Borg arc. The last Borg arc had a very similar, obviously, store to this. You can buy shards for all the different types of officers that you can currently get uh, for all the different outlaw uh, arcs, all the way from Harry, the very first Harry Mud uh, to, obviously, uh, the latest sort of additions, which is the likes of Rue. Row, row mud, as I say there, and then or the, I don't even know how to spell or say off these. Or ear dice, I have no idea. Whatever. And then obviously you got the other ones from like the Navi Rima Pan and stuff like that as well. If you're going along, you can get stellar blueprints. In case you missed out on the last arc, you can get the stellar blueprints on this, uh, as well as obviously the tokens. They are quite expensive, so just bear that in mind. And I personally wouldn't get them. Uh, neither would to get any of these avatars because again they're all dead expensive you can get the frame if you missed out on that again super expensive so i wouldn't waste your time on that uh, or alternatively you can put into uncommons you can get blueprints um and just be wary when you do get blueprints and stuff you're limited to the amount you can buy so you're limited to level 32 ships you're limited to 20 uh, and then level 30 the miners you're limited to 50 and say with the level 28 ships uh, and then you can get 
Uh, for some reason, you're limited to 40 on the smaller ones and 26 ships, which makes no sense because you can get 50 of the 28 ships. But it is what it is. You can get Devore, you can get Franklin. You, there's loads of stuff that you can buy. I'm not going to go through all of them. But there's absolutely tons of stuff that you can buy. And the thing you need is these height loose, heist loot is what you need, which is obviously stuff that you're going to need to want to collect uh, to basically start unlocking some of the uh, different shards and stuff i give you one hair for example since she is an epic it is six thousand heist loot per shard so just bear that in mind these are probably going to get added just like the other officers have been added to the ultra recruit tokens and um, so just bear that in mind as well that these probably will be added at some point in terms of what you can buy in the shop at the moment so the ones we're looking at really are these ones so you can buy obviously the premium rewards again i'll do more in-depth detail video on whether these are worth it or not, um, I'll just do an overview at the moment. So you can buy, obviously, the premium rewards. You can buy the, the the normal, sort of, just the pass one, which is essentially what this one is. And then you've got the pass keys, and then you've got the different heist loot stuff, and then you've got the elite points, which are pretty much generic. These are exactly the same as what they have been for the last couple of arcs, uh, pretty much all of this year. Uh, from that point, I'll go quickly and have a look into the officers, see what they look like and stuff like that. So we just order them by group and scroll down loads. So I've gone past them. There they are. So if we go to obviously we start with this one. I've got some common. So uh, Sasha, she's a mud company. And then obviously I can't show you what they actually look like because obviously they're all, you know, you've got ties. Teaser, teaser, is that how you say that? Teaser, I don't know, something like that. And then you got some uncommons, which is Goon, which is the, of that alien looking thing. Yeah, really ugly looking one. Then you got, is it Row? Row Mud? Row Mud? I don't know, I want to say Row. Row Mud. Um, I'm not going to pronounce that. Avix, maybe. And then you got, obviously, Mud himself, which has been out for a while now. And then you got Dice, which is also the new female as well. And then there is, I believe, there is another mud, which isn't in there for some reason. Unless they just changed the icon. Uh, I want to go to get yeah, the battle pass. If you go to the battle pass and you get the premium pass, so the bottom tier ones, you can unlock these blueprints. Harry Mud. They've changed the icon on it though. So yeah, the Harcount Fenton Mud. So they've changed the icon here, but for some reason have the old one here, which makes no sense at all. Am I seeing that right? No, no, yeah, it is different. Okay, so you got two different types of mud now. You got young mud and you got old mud. Um, obviously they have different abilities. So that was just me. Sorry about that. So yeah, you got two different mud characters now. Obviously young and old, and they uh, obviously they do different things. So obviously we'll have to see how they pan out in the future. Other than that, a new. I don't know if they've added anything to the store. Doesn't look like it. That is pretty much everything so far. So good luck, commanders, on your journey uh, to completing the arc. Once again, I will be doing a free-to-play mostly. I will probably get the premium pack, so take that as you will. Pretty much everyone's going to get that, I would imagine. Um, but everything else I'll be doing, hopefully, free-to-play and completing the arc. So good luck with your free-to-play. Join me tonight for, on tonight's stream. And I'll see everyone there. Don't forget to leave your comments down below and what your thoughts are initially on the new arc. Obviously, don't go into detail too much. Just initial thoughts of what it looks like and stuff like that. That would be absolutely great to find out what your thoughts are down below. If you did like this type of overview video, then please do hit the like button. If you don't, then obviously hit the dislike button and let me know why you disliked it. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.